Hi guys, how's it going? It's Sandra from Inspired Keyboardist. And today I just want to share a secret that I've sort of discovered when I was a kid. And um, it's called, I call it the everlasting one in five. And I shall demonstrate by using uh, Hill Songs, Crisis Enough. So here it goes. It's in the key of B major. And let's just use the chorus. So the chorus goes like this. Right, so you can see that I actually kept some notes playing all the time and actually those notes are the 1 and the 5 of the key. So in this case, Crisis Enough is in the key of B major and so thinking of the B major scale, so this would be the 1 of the scale and then this would be the 5 of the scale. Now to make a contemporary worship song sound contemporary. Um, one of the secrets most people use, and we've all come to discover at some point, um, is that 1 and 5 is almost played throughout the entire song. So um, here's a different version. If I don't play 1 and 5 um, throughout, if I were to play pure chords, so to speak, then it would sound very different like this. So this would sound a little bit more beginner-like. So how do we begin to integrate the 1 and 5? Well, it's actually really simple. Um, so what I did was just to try to make sure I play some Bs and some F sharps. It doesn't have to be this B, it doesn't have to be this F sharp. It can, it can be any of the Bs, it can be any of the F sharps really. And I just try to integrate and try to put one finger on any of them. And um, so... It's also possible and actually easier if you want to play the one and the five all the time and just keep it extremely simple on the right hand while your left hand plays the chords, the bass, the bass notes. And this works really well if you're singing in the tune so the, the, the melody is taken care of. So here's an example. Christ is enough for me. carefully my right hand's just so chilled all, all it, it does is really stay here and um, you you will notice that actually I pretty much just did a lot of this I stayed there throughout and I could very well stay there throughout the whole entire song and um, occasionally I added a two this being the second degree of the scale of B major right so and so it would apply for all the other sections of the songs Christ is a I just pretty much did a lot of that um, but when, I, when it comes to chord 5 which is F sharp major which is by if I would simplify it to the pure chord itself it would be so I, I personally find that is a little bit too um, suspended it usually would need to resolve to a and so in this case it would be a four three four because it's that's a f space of a four part four uh, resolving down a step to the three that being a 
a third apart. And this would be a little bit of a, an advanced um, music theory knowledge, but um, I find that it is a little bit too um, suspended if I don't resolve it. So sometimes I don't necessarily use this all the time on F sharp. I might use or I might just occasionally switch it up to just or just have any of the movements here but just don't stay at B the whole time in the chord of F sharp. So Christ sharp chord I actually don't play the B for a while but when I go back to the next part I go right back to the B so uh, this would work for the bridge as well I have decided to follow G. here's an F sharp chord and you notice I temporarily removed my finger from B the one I resolved it down to up seven or two to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back so when it comes to having uh, not not having the need to play the melody, uh, like I was singing the song, the melody, um, your right hand can really just stay right here. It doesn't have to move like, I have this That's actually a very busy effect. What you really want is something that's a little bit still, and I interpret it as God calming uh, us when we worship. So you really don't want to create the effect of a lot of movement, a lot of busyness. So you want to keep it really still um, by really having the right hand stay here. Now you can't really do this the whole time. So here's where if you have to repeat that whole section again, I might, instead of having this combination of B and F sharp, I might move it up to here, which is F sharp and B. And then it's still the five, it's still a one. I'm just switching it around really and it really adds a new layer of um, this new range which makes the ears hear something a little bit more fresh during a repeat and of course one of the secrets of playing well uh, avoiding stillness in playing is to um, feature repetitions with variations so uh, here's a repeated section I'm just gonna play this section twice the first section, I'm just going to stick to this part of my, my piano and nothing goes beyond this range. And then the second time, I'm going to come up to here. And so I'm going to introduce this sound and it's going to sound a little bit more fresh. I have this sound either but I want to come down to this note instead to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back in this case I decided that I'll, I'll do the, the B um, which is the suspension and then resolve it down to um, A sharp the 7 um, halfway so it was no turning back now I have this Thanks for watching.